hello. Uh, today's video was actually a request from one of you guys, a subscriber. So I was asked to potentially compare the sizes of different Kuyana totes, which I have three of them back here. We'll talk about it. Um, and just kind of talk about like what fits. Because I will say I have a lot of reviews on different Kriana tote bags. I have, I think I have reviews on every size tote bag I have, which would be the classic structured tote. I've actually got the small tote here. And then in the back, I've got the tall zip structured tote. So three totes here. I often get asked, are they worth the money? How are they? I've done reviews on them individually, but yes, today, today, we will actually be kind of like, I've got a bunch of crap here. We'll kind of be packing together and I will show you what fits in each of these bags. So that way, if you are debating between, let's say like a larger size, a taller size or a smaller size, out of everything, what fits? All right, I'm not gonna waste your time. Let's just get into it. The first bag that we're gonna take a look at is the classic structured tote, which by far is my most used out of all the Kuyana totes that I have. This, I think the video review I did on this has maybe around like 14,000 views right now. So a lot of people are shopping for this bag and a lot of people wanna know if it's worth it. So if you want an actual review of this bag, I will let you go watch that video because I do have a video just about that. But let's, let's pack it together because I do think you will start to see between these bags, the different things that you can or can't fit inside of them. I do want to preface that with this bag, I do have the organizer inside of it. So this is the Kuyana. It's their leather tote organizer. They make this, they sell this. It is made for this bag. That's how I use it. I don't use this bag without the organizer. So that's how we're packing it. The first thing you can for sure fit is actually a laptop. I'm pretty sure this is the 13 inch laptop. And so that actually fits right inside. There is a laptop sleeve. So that laptop actually fits right here inside the laptop sleeve, no problem. The other thing that when I was going to work, I used to like to take in this bag was a um, a planner. This is the Erin Condren planner that I have. They are massive, so these are not always the most efficient planners to take to work, but if I was taking it to work, I would have put it right there so it fits right next to the laptop there. I always have a cosmetic case of some kind with me. This one just because it's not really where I carry cosmetics but it has things like eye drops and Advil, like things like that that you might need. I also have a wallet. Now here's my little disclaimer here. My wallet is really big right now. I'm actually using a Vera Bradley. It's like a, a crossbody because when I was commuting to the office, I really enjoyed if I was grabbing lunch with coworkers to be able just to like pull it out and take that with me instead of needing to have like a wallet that I would be putting in my back pocket or somewhere that felt a little less safe. I could actually just grab this and wear it as a crossbody. So I did really like having that. And then also not commuting into the office. There are some times where my husband and I, we just go to the farmer's market. I really just need this. I don't need anything else. So I pack that in there just like that, as you guys can see. So we've already fit a lot. Then with the organizer, there are actually, there are some, pocket options for you. So for example, if you have sunglasses and you wanna stick sunglasses there, you can put them there. I also have actual reading glasses, eyeglasses. Put that right there, right next to it. I've got my keys. So there actually is a key leash here, right here. So if I wanted to make sure that I wasn't gonna lose my keys, I could attach it to this thing. I don't really do that, to be honest. I don't know why. Sometimes I'll just stick it in this back zippered pocket so I don't lose the keys. The thing I love about this organizer is the fact that it does have a water bottle sleeve over here. So I'm able to stick a water bottle over there. I actually can fit bigger sizes. That's like the smallest of my beaker sizes, but I can fit that. And yeah, man, a mask, I don't know, just toss it on top. A phone, toss that right there, boom. That's literally anything I would ever want to take to work. So like the reality of the classic structured tote is, is if you wanna take your entire life, let me introduce you to your best friend. This thing is now chock full with everything that you saw me put in there. This gets me through a full work day at an office. This can get me through all my errands, everything I need to do. I can fit it all inside this bag. But 
Let's now switch it over to the tall zip toe and see what fits. So the tall zip toe is organized just a little bit differently. It is obviously taller than it is wider, unlike our friend, the classic structured tote. And then this one has a built-in laptop sleeve right here with a little pocket. There is no organizer for this bag. So it is kind of a like, whatever goes in, goes in. You can definitely fit the laptop, boom, right there, goes in no problem. Gonna go ahead and put my planner in here. In goes the cosmetic case. Here's what we're looking like so far. Got my wallet that's going in. Gonna put in my eyeglasses. Gonna put my keys in the little slip pocket. My water bottle. See, I'm kind of, I'm having to do some rearranging here to make it all fit. I'm just gonna toss my mask in and my phone. So I was able to get everything in, as you can see here, all the same stuff I was able to get in. Um, the thing to note, the thing is, is it's way less organized. Like the way that everything just kind of fits in this bag is just a smorgasbord, a hodgepodge, whatever you want to call it. Obviously it fits everything. Again, if you want to take your life in to work with you or just around with you, or if you're a mom or you know, whatever, like this can fit everything for travel, it'd be great. Um, but it is slightly less organized because there is no organizer for this bag. If you like the compartmentalization aspect, you might prefer this bag with the actual organizer versus here, if you're someone that carries a lot of things in little cases and you're kind of organized yourself, you really could be just fine with this guy, but that is a key difference between the two. So the really interesting thing now is going to be to show you actually what goes from these two big bags into the smaller tote that I have here. Because this guy, this is a very different size. Now I do think when I did a review of this, I got a lot of questions about can a, can a laptop fit in this? What can you take to work in this? What about a water bottle? And let's see, let's see what fits. All right guys, so this is the small structured tote. I do have the crossbody strap. I'm just gonna move that out of the way for now. Like any other normal woman, I've got random receipts and crap. What else is new? So the first thing to think about here, here's my laptop and it does fit. I'll give them that. It does fit, but let me tell you, if you're then trying to take a planner and you're trying to take your cosmetic case, am I about to be proven wrong? It's fitting a lot actually. And you wanna take your big giant wallet like I have. Here's my water bottle going in. And we're starting to max out on space here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's looking pretty darn full. I can definitely squeeze my glasses in, like kind of around the perimeter a little bit here. Um, but we're looking, we're looking rough. And then with all these extras, I mean, you can kind of slide things into back corners. So everything fits. You could fit all of that in to get to work with that. Now, this is a little heavy for my taste. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't love the idea of everything just being so visible out in the open and it is so heavy for this small bag. The things that I would recommend to kind of edit out, I probably wouldn't take a planner of this size if I was doing the small structured tote. I think I would just end up taking, I don't know, no planner. I'll leave that on my desk. I don't know that I would go with a true laptop. I think that's a little bit heavy for this bag. I might. I might opt instead for an iPad. This is the 11 inch iPad. And even with those two changes alone, the bag is looking so much more spacious and it is much lighter. So that's my little like quick comparison of these three bags. I'll admit, I actually feel like I kind of fooled myself on this one. I really didn't think as much fit in this bag. I don't reach for this one as much as I do the other two. And good news, my friends, uh, no matter which of these totes you're looking at, you will be able to get a full work day or maybe, I can't really speak for the parents in the world. I'm sure you have a lot more stuff that you might need to pack than I do at this time. But if you are somebody that is commuting to work um, or may commute to work in the future, Future. I think any of these bags would be a good option. The thing that this one does not leave room for would be like if you need to take your sweater off or lunch. Lunch was always like a huge issue for me. It's been hard to find a tote that could actually fit all my work stuff plus enough food to keep me satisfied. Um, so I used to just have to carry a lunch box kind of separately, which we'll figure it out. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know if you guys want any other comparison videos or just like showing what fits and different packing videos. I do have a lot of Kuyana crossbody bags and a lot of other bags in general. Tell me what you wanna see. I would love some feedback. You know the drill, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll catch you later. Bye guys.